again everybody it's me blunt ted it's another episode of blunt ted talks now first of all thank you very much for clicking on the video and secondly thank you to all of the subscribers it's been i think it's been about 20 of you this week so that's great news um right now it's about seven in the morning for me i've woke up like four hours ago because there's a party going on with the students and I've just seen the news, I've done some digging around because most of you are probably not aware of what's going on. I think it's in the Guardian or the Telegraph and it's behind a paywall so you can't get to it. But I've done some digging around and basically, you know, this is, um, you know, Richard Masters and, and the rest of the Premier League are going to be hauled in front of the government to answer questions. Okay, so what this is about is the rescue payments for the EFL. Um, the government refused to bail out the EFL and it was kind of left to the Premier League to sort out. Um, but where the problem arises is it's obviously it's dragging out and the Premier League and Masters are now being accused of putting too many obstacles in the way of a rescue package, which can, you know, in effect, I think there was like it said between 12 and 15 clubs that can be affected by this and actually go out of business in the EFL. So Richard Masters dragging his feet is disgusting really you know he's just going to allow clubs to go bust you know um, another thing as well which you might not realize you might not have read you might not have seen behind the paywall but another thing that's actually being questioned up in front of uh, the government is the big picture you know remember the plan to like break away some clubs that were going to kick some clubs out of the premier league um, it was going to affect the playoffs as well if i remember rightly in the championship um, some big changes and you know some money was going to be fed down to the EFL and obviously it all flopped but yeah they've got to answer questions about that now because the government aren't happy about that either so um, yeah where does this leave Newcastle United obviously you know um, they don't want to be fighting two wars the deadline was two days ago they stalled for time and asked for another, 20, uh, another two weeks and 24 hours later it was rejected um, I put that in a video yesterday, I'll link that at the end if you've not seen it already or not seen the news. Um, but yeah, they don't want to be fighting two wars, so potentially do they want to be fighting Mike Ashley or do they want to be fighting the government? You know, like, they can't help but fight the government, but they can lose, they can just drop the fight with Mike Ashley. So uh, yeah, for me personally, I think this is actually great news for Newcastle United. And it's also great news for football in general because the Premier League are being exposed now. I do not see how much longer Richard Masters can stay in a job for. And Hoffman, I don't know how long they can stay in a job for. Um, I think it's pretty much done for them now. I think it's over for them. There's too much attention. And even if they refuse um, the takeover and it ends up going to court with the, you know, the fans consortium and the QC and Mike Ashley and everybody else, um, you know, everything's just gonna everything's gonna be exposed now. So even if that doesn't go to court with them, the government could potentially expose everything themselves and you know all the wrongdoing. And um, I think I think they're actually questioning you know the speaking to you know the top six as well. You know, so yeah, great things happening with football at the minute. The fact that Richard Masters has copped it up so badly and has now got government attention. That's great news, because that means that football can potentially be fixed. Not great news for the top six. You boggers can all, you know, you can all get in the bin. Um, go and join your little Super League thing. We don't care, you know, I don't care. If Man United and Arsenal and all these clubs, all right, fair enough, we might go. But uh, to be honest, I'd rather see Newcastle versus Sunderland games. I'd rather see, you know, some of the smaller clubs kind of being able to compete again, you know? It's just ridiculous, so um, yeah, that's it. It's the end of the video. Like I said, it's about seven in the morning, so I apologize if I look tired. Um, I'll probably look a mess. I've just stuck my hat on, so I do apologize, but I just did want to get that news across to you because, as I said, it's behind the paywall, so most of you probably won't know what's going on. But I did do a little bit of digging about it, so um, yeah, that's it. It's the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. My name's Ted, as you know, it's another episode of Blog Ted Talks. Uh, please hit the subscribe button hit the like button, drop a comment, let me know what you think. And also in the pinned comment, I'm gonna leave a link to my second channel. Um, currently the artwork and everything, it, it looks a bit basic, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of working on that at the moment to get it all looking nice. I've got some good stuff coming up on there. I've got um, podcasts coming up with some people that you have 
very definitely heard of these people and you know it's going to be great so yeah go click on that go subscribe to that as well i'd be most grateful so yeah thank you very much for watching my name's ted it's another episode of blunt ted talks yeah.